What's going on guys? Uh, just sharing a quick devotion with you guys today. I know you guys are probably going to get the daily bread, share some verses with each other and that type of stuff. <clears throat> First of all, um, I just want to commend you guys again. And by the way, this is being posted on my YouTube channel, but this video is mainly for um, Salvation Tabernacle Youth. But hey, if anyone sees it, that's great. I want to commend you guys again for what you guys have been doing to help the church raise funds for Operation Christmas Child. It's been extremely, extremely successful. Um, just from the bake sales to the snack sales to the movie nights and stuff like that. Keep it up. Keep up the good work. Keep pressing on. Keep coming out to church. Keep reading your Bibles. Keep doing everything that you're doing. Opening the Bibles on Sunday mornings, on Friday nights, taking notes. I pay attention to those small details and I see what people are doing and I know it's going to change your life and God is just going to bless you in such a powerful, powerful way. Um, just to share a quick devotion with you guys today. You know, talking about all of the different religions and different systems of the world and stuff like that. Um, let's go back to the point that uh, the comment that was made on that Instagram last night. I'm not going to say it because this will be on YouTube. But that person was saying that it's okay for his culture to harm someone because they've been persecuted throughout a certain amount of history so that's kind of the gist he was getting to oh my people have been persecuted so it's okay to retaliate well the last time i checked if you have a fire and you add fire to that fire it doesn't help it go out you need to use an outside substance that can calm down the blaze of that fire so if you have a fire and you try to put it out with fire it's not going to work you need some type of water some type of of uh, you know the, the the whatever the substances in the fire extinguishes to put it out because it's an opposite. An opposite will help put out an extreme measure of something else. So, for example, if I have a lot of anger, if I have a lot of hatred, someone being angry towards me is only going to stir up my anger even more. It's only going to stir up my anger even more. So, if someone has common sense, what they would do is not be angry towards someone that is angered towards them. But the Bible says. A soft answer turns away wrath. A soft answer turns away wrath, saying, show love. Live like how Jesus said we should live. Love somebody despite them hating you. Despite what they say about you, how they treat you, you show them love, you show them kindness, and go about your day. You hang out with your people that treat you well, right? Don't get so tied up in someone else's opinions of yourself when they add or, 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 or subtract nothing from your life. Don't let them subtract if they shouldn't have the ability to, right? So my encouragement to you this morning is know who you are. You're called, you're chosen, you're blessed, you're highly favored, you're anointed. You're not a mistake, you're not a nobody. You are somebody in Christ. Keep pressing forward, keep keep opening that Bible every day, keep drawing closer to God, keep praying to Him, keep doing the things you have to do to Him. Sometimes things may get hard, things may come up, it might try to throw you off course, but don't let it. Keep fighting the good fight of faith, running the race with perseverance, as Paul says. In the old days, the, the, the disciples were dipped in boiling oil, uh, beaten, stoned, throwing stones at them to kill them, all kinds of stuff. They, they went through so much torture. When you see what we have to go through in today's world, it really pales in comparison to, to, to the opportunity that we have then as opposed to what they had, uh, the opportunity we have now to what they had back then. So guys, have a blessed day today. Don't let nobody drag you down. You hold your head up high. If you're going through something today, know that God is going to see you through. You got a support system of people that can see you through. And if anyone is looking at this video outside of my normal group, know that we love you. Jesus loves you. He, he died for your sins. Um, if you need more information on finding a good Bible-based church, uh, you want more context on what I was speaking of just now, feel free to reach out. Phone number should be in the description. Uh, text me, reach out. We will arrange something if you want to donate to our Operation Christmas Child, giving to needy kids in other countries. Absolutely. By all means, uh, we will be accepting donations and 100% of the proceeds will go towards making a box, which is $10 and shipping out, which is another 10 to so $20 per box. Guys, have an awesome day today. Be blessed.